Hey everybody, ODD here. Got something short and oh so sweet for you today. Let's get right into it. I catch a lot of flack for using Rob Skiba's Photoshop investigation into an Apollo picture where you adjust the levels and you see a square box around the Earth. As far as I know, he pulled that from the NASA website and I've done it myself. People argue that I'm retarded and it's JPEG artifacts from compression and being passed around so much and whatnot. It's just not true. They are indeed photoshopping these images. We are going to go to LROC. I'll put links in the description. So what is LROC? The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Camera, or LROC, is a system of three cameras mounted on the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, that capture high-resolution photos of the lunar surface. Let's go to the About tab. What is LROC? The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Camera, or LROC, is a system of three cameras mounted on the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, that capture high-resolution black and white images and moderate-resolution multi-spectral images of the lunar surface. Down on the bottom here is a rendering of the LRO. Just so you could get a look at it, or what, the, what they pretend it is. Now let's go to this post that's from the same website. It's called Looking Over the Limb, and NASA claims this photo is real straight from the LROC. It says, the Earth straddling the limb of the moon as seen from above Compton Crater. And at the bottom it says 12th of October 2015. So this was recently. And you could read the rest. It goes on to say how the image was taken and how it was originally black and white. So they are saying that they added color, but that's it. This, this link will also be in the description. So okay, let's scroll to the bottom where you can download the original TIFF file. It's 302 megabytes, pretty hefty. So we know it's the original. Let's download it. Now let's open it in Photoshop Bring the levels up. And boom. Clear as day. Photoshop job. Not even a question. This is indisputable. NASA's images are all fake. It's been proven over and over at this point and beat to death. But unfortunately, many people still blindly give their trust to NASA and the other space programs of the world which are all fraudulent as well. So share this and spread the word. And before I get out of here, let me show you an interesting connection I made this morning. In 2015, both NASA's Hubble and Adobe's Photoshop were celebrating their 25th anniversary. On Adobe's official picture for that anniversary, there is an astronaut. Coincidence? At this point, it's not likely. Plus, Adobe Photoshop's original picture was an all-seeing eye. So, just some food for thought. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.